So now let's jump on to the next topic then. <laughs> so it's all about Nafi now. We'll get words of wisdom from Nafi. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I consider her as, her as a grandma, right? She really is a grandma. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a compliment, bro. Yeah, I know. She was our coach entire time we were coming here. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's like, let's talk about this. Let's do this. Even the driving part. <laughs> oh, even yes, even for <laughs> <Yeah>. driving. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true. So now we'll talk about the next topic, which is social media influencers. We have our own team of social media influencers in our university. Please go check them out. And one of the leaders of the team is Nafi. Give it up for Nafi, everybody. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I mean, we're going to talk about influencers a lot, right? But first, yes. I want to talk about you. Like, there, I, you have been influencing people before the program too. I've seen you. You used to do jewelry a lot. Yeah. yeah you make jewelry <laughs> a lot. And, you know, it's already inspiration because... Uh, it's a business right mm-hmm. and some people like can see you and get inspired like oh i can make this diy jewelry even i want to try it yeah. right so it's already inspirational so like what got you into like social media stuff uh, honestly it started just because for my business because i'm not financially that stable to keep a stall in yeah, anywhere I get it. <laughs> you know yeah. i'm still a student yes so yeah it started for just my jewelry business but then as i learn more about social media i feel like it's important to uh, you know make your brand yes. official so that's why i jumped into the influencers program yes. that we have to build my own brand oh, okay. so that i can make grow my business more that's yeah. nice yeah. that's nice so like what's your your like what's your take on social media too like i want to know because um some people say social media is bad Some people say it helps you. For me, it helped me. For her, so it's helping her. But what's your take? Like, what's your experiences with social media? Let's say. <laughs> For me, it's just entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Literally, just entertainment. Mm-hmm. I don't even respond to DMs or anything. Just reels and posts. That's all. <laughs> that's literally everything <laughs> that I do there. And my friends would complain like, "You don't check your DMs. They will send." real and stuff <laughs> but then yeah like i think for me it's just entertainment mm. mm-hmm. it's meant for that yeah. it's, it's yeah. initially was built for that yeah. mm. it was built for entertainment mm. to get back with your friends that you've missed for years yeah. Yeah. Communication. communication communication yes so i think there's a fine line now between you know like a healthy communication exactly and an unhealthy I won't say communication but the intake of that communication in the sense the pictures you look at the videos mm. you look at mm. yes there has to be a fine line yes mm. once you go towards you know a certain pose or something that is let's say something that is explicit yeah. then you start seeing the same pose over and over again yeah yes it's, it's the, the algorithm. algorithm yeah <laughs> <laughs> but then that's what strikes me because if you move towards something negative yes then the and algorithm was showing that then yeah. the things keeps on coming yeah. and then all and those negative codes and everything no yeah yeah, yeah. especially yeah. When, like, when you're feeling sad right when you're looking at some codes like you you want to post something yeah. and you do relate to yourself but then like it keeps on coming and you keep on getting sad and yeah. sad and that's a bad thing I that's had the this impact. experience yeah. all right so um like when i have a sad day or like just fought with my girlfriend or something <laughs> so what happens is i i don't post anything but my instagram just pop, like shows me quotes which are like <laughs> you know which are so relatable and which are like which makes me cry literally i don't know how it works so that's the other part yeah i just don't know how that works <laughs> like i'll be having a crush on someone and then oh. my entire feed will be filled with Ooh. crush Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I know it though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean the algorithm is like super weird. No? Yeah, it's like they're spying on us, right? Yes. Don't listen to us. Let me search your camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, it's in front of you, by the way. Yeah, right over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's one camera, two cameras. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the eye is the best camera. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
so also like influences right so social media obviously um has negative and positive impacts it's a double edged sword sorry yeah a double edged sword yes exactly. it is it is mm. it's really dangerous to for people with like less experience let's say and who are not properly educated educated mm. yes so like how do you think influences could help in that like educating people i feel like uh me getting this platform from martin luther king university i feel like we have to post whatever we've learned whatever mm. we've experienced like usually we post about programs that help people and all yes. and i think that it's a good thing mm-hmm. that uh, we should give more to mm-hmm. the people not just uh you know learning in classes and all maybe even learning in the internet what if people can't afford it you know yes. mm-hmm. yeah. so it's important to give knowledge even just a little bit also yes. yeah from my understanding yeah. but i feel like it's not in in our culture now it's not that glorified mm. so i think so uh mcu taking this initiative to bring uh, uh, to give us a platform mm-hmm. and uplifting about uh, programs and educational purposes uh, is such a good thing because all you see is fashion beauty yeah. which is not yes. really good for the long term yeah. all you see, i think so you've all seen in your feeds right we see oh get ready with me yeah. you see yeah. those yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to buy more mm. and that's very bad actually you shouldn't yeah. buy from brands because they're over producing stuff and that's Pollu- polluting the earth and all so i feel like we shouldn't glorify that honestly i think yeah. there's a misconception no when we say influencers right mm. we will just like we like oh it's beauty those and beauty mm. influencers and all that it's True. not like yeah mm. that's what that's the misconception so even when i watch some you have seen these people who roast right on videos mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i watch some roast like roasting youtubers <laughs> <laughs> like carrie minati of course <laughs> So I see them talking about influencers too and then like when they talk they speak the truth mm. and they say that influencers were not supposed to be for beauty or dancing or yeah because the people can still watch it like without influencers being there. Yeah. Influencers yeah. initially were supposed to be so that people who could be educated That's But you know now we have very very young influencers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. My my son watches Farhan. Do you know Farhan? Who? He's the... a young influencer. Okay. Oh. Okay. And then he eats all these chips now, the taki chip. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 So what does he influence though? Okay. Let's see the influencing part that he does is quite negative in the sense that yes. movies and mm. junk food. So I feel okay, it's okay. it's not see, toys. Another thing is these young influencers, no? are being like because obviously they won't have their own sense to do things right they so parents is. also their parents or like whoever is looking after them also thinks just because like mm. there's this misconception of influencers can do anything and they can just earn right yeah mm. i feel bad for those young children who are like being forced to make videos so like they That's can earn hard. a bread yeah. it's like so sad seeing them do sad things like like obviously like you said influencing I see a young kid do a mukbang once. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's unhealthy. That's, yeah, it's yeah. very unhealthy. Yeah. So like, keep a hold. Like, think about what you're doing before you do, right? Yeah. And that that whole attitude of I don't care. No? Yeah. Yes. Do you realize yeah. it's there? It's yes, there. it is there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amongs the youngs, the yeah. young yes. ones. Oh, okay, okay. I don't yeah. care, yo. Yeah. The I, Gen Alpha, right? Those yeah. are the new generations. I don't know any terms anymore. Yes, honestly. it is. Gen Alpha. Okay, uh, you are Gen Z, by the way. Oh, We are Gen, Gen Z. Z. Oh, yeah. Gen Alpha is like the you know, coming Gen. The very smart but very damn care. Very Did you see the smart but damn care? Yeah. yeah. No, not all of them, but just that the attitude that they portray. Yes. 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 Mischievous everyone. <laughs> hmm. Did smart. you see the incident yeah. where like uh, kids were going to Sephora and trying oh, out yes. you? Mm-hmm. And everyone was complaining about yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's that. I mean kids are using makeup nowadays. Yeah. Doing skincare yeah. with chemicals and stuff. That's what. So I it's, went to it's school. It's for the young yeah. young making them look look younger. Lung. <laughs> yeah. Oops, and not <laughs> aging. <laughs> It's okay. So I went right to school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So That's I weird. went to school, all right? Like yeah. my old school. And uh, when I was in school, like the attitudes were different, right? I also feel like the influencers right also got impacted because of covid. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Due okay. to the lockdown, yeah. mm-hmm. due, because children start using phone more, they started going mm-hmm. dive into internet even more. I agree. Yeah. And during COVID, people had nothing to do. So mm-hmm. instead of influencing like things about COVID, they started showing stupid stuff. Okay. Just for entertainment. Uh, yes, just for entertainment. Yeah. But even though it's like they are showing wrong stuff too, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like even that has created this attitude because I went to school in my school. And I had a chat with my principal, yeah. and he told me that the attitude of the students now it's, it's can't deal with it. <laughs> no. So I feel it's not it's kind of not their fault as well. It's just I feel the influencers who were supposed to be influencing did it in the wrong way. Mm-hmm. I I just think it's the generation right now mm-hmm. we're in. It's also the responsibility that you hold as an yes, influencer. Exactly. Mm, yes. So yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Like, what do you think are there? responsibilities that you as an influencer should hold like yeah. you have like uh, good morals good, I would say yes. mm-hmm. good morals so what are those morals then that's what I'm asking being honest yeah. unfiltered I think so just being vocal about what what you want what you you obviously and just promoting stuff that you know that makes an impact to people mm-hmm uh, those are mo- some of the importance I would say. Yeah. And you know why I love Nafi's influencing the most? Yeah. Because she's influencing real stuff. True. Mm. I see her videos on YouTube. Whoops. Turn that off. I don't know. Okay. I said do not disturb you. I don't know. Sorry. I didn't know. I see her videos on YouTube. So, uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah. I see. I, see, I watch her videos, right? And she's talking about uh, woman empowerment. Mm. She's talking about medical attention and yeah. like yeah. real mm. stuff that is required in the world. So, yes. hats Thank off you. So much to you. See, that's the unique thing, unique thing about Nafi, I feel, is that she's yeah. very mindful yes. Yes. and considerate. Yes. Thank so, influencers so should also have that kind of mindset, no? Yes. When they're working, because, see, as an influencer, you're not just working alone. Mm-hmm. You're also portraying a world, the reality yes. of the world around you. Yes. So, you have to be mindful and considerate mm. about your audience. Yes. Which Nafi has. Yes. Yeah. And I you hats off to you, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be like diamond tears? No, I'm just gonna cry from my nose because I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Wrong piece of information. <laughs> I know that house, girl. Oh, you need something. So, Joe, what's your take on influencing, bro? Yes. <laughs> yeah, just yes. <laughs> Like, I mean, yes, because, um, whoops, so. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just do? My dad called. <laughs> oh, you were like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's such a bad thing. <laughs> Please <laughs> keep your phone. <laughs> what in the? <laughs> bloopers. <laughs> yeah. Bro. A lot of bloopers. Uh, so do you have any questions about being an influencer and MSU and stuff and stuff. Yes, how how did you get into like uh like how did you join? Who contacted you and like how how was the procedure, you know? Uh actually there was one sir actually I was doing photography with I was following him because I like doing photography and videography. So it was kind of like a thing. I used to help him during a role. I think you've seen me, yeah, right? Yes, yes. Taking pictures and all going everywhere and everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh so Jewel had this uh, idea with Sir Same to build an influencers group. Wow. So, yes, I was the first guinea pig. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I started from there. It was very, very hectic, I would say. It started during Aurora and we had to post every day. One wow. video. Because we had that team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyday team. So it was so hectic. I think so, like my editing was so bad also. I think improving but still it's not that good also no it's pretty but, good but I actually. love it I love <laughs> yeah, watching I love your it. videos hey, you don't have any background on media right no I no, just so, doing I'm so well you're yeah. doing so well for that yeah <laughs> damn girl thank you I think I think we all were like here because of that person sitting there yes <laughs> thank you thank, thank you, you bro person. thank you director yeah. <laughs> even director. the podcast was like one of his works so yes. I feel 
like giving us this platform mm, from yes. pam 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 very grateful <laughs> and, 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 and yeah. most importantly the new person who is oh. lushai yes so so for people who don't know right because we have done quite a few episodes now so our crew members jo and lushai are like helping us a lot and they are yeah. so jo is like the director mm-hmm. and the crew member as well because he is, is <laughs> so they have been helping us a lot yeah. thanks thank you bro <laughs> <laughs> shout out to them shout out to them yes everything that you see about msc on media it's their job so kudos to them for doing yes. this yeah, like brilliant and thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> yes self appreciation appreciating yes. others as well yes. Yes. yes so i think i think going back to that i think appreciating others and can also help them self appreciate like how y'all did it to me huh? yeah. <laughs> so yes i think we we have covered enough for today and so thank you for watching see you in the next episode of the next chapter, chapter. see ya woo bye. bye okay now i'm going to pick up the call <laughs> hello